Oh man, I was beginning to think that we weren't going to be getting a 2024 Five Nights at Freddy's calendar for next year. But I did some digging and I was able to find this premiere of the brand new Security Breach calendar. As you can see the nice cover art here. I really like this. Out of all the calendar cover arts, I really like this one. It's got the Glam Rocks. you got Glam Rock Freddy. You have Roxy. You have Chica. And you have Monty. They look really cool together. They're dancing. They're performing. And then you got the Security Breach logo. And then you got some kind of red and white lights in the background. It really makes the whole thing pop. Now, I have nothing against Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. I really like the game, and I thought for Five Nights at Freddy's first venture into open world horror, it was really fun and intriguing. I love that it was hugely story driven, but what I don't love is it seems like every Five Nights at Freddy's merch company wants to do merch for Security Breach, and it's been like that for almost three years, and I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda sick of seeing Security Breach merch. Now, I'm not knocking this calendar. I really like this calendar. I love that they use actual renders from the game rather than concept art or promotional art. It looks really nice, and I love the bright colors of it. It just looks really cool. But I feel like the companies that are involved with making Five Nights at Freddy's merch have sort of doubled down on the success of Security Breach. Whereas this calendar could have potentially been a Security Breach Ruin calendar, which... You know, that game came out this year. Or it could even be the Five Nights at Freddy's movie calendar, which literally just came out a week ago. And I know me and other Five Nights at Freddy's fans are still super high after the adrenaline rush and the awesomeness that was the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Now, only two pages of this calendar have been revealed thus far, so we'll take a look at them real quick here. We see this awesome one for January with Glam Rock Freddy jamming out with his microphone, looking really cool. I love that it's an actual render of Glam Rock Freddy, not just the promotional concept art that they did for the previous Five Nights at Freddy Security Breach calendar, so I really like that. I like how he's in a very dynamic pose, and he's got that same red and white lighting in the background, really making him pop. It says Freddy Fazbear in some fancy font with some blue lightning bolts next to it. And then obviously the calendar part of it is very basic with this sort of image of Glamrock Freddy fading into the calendar. And then the calendar is just framed by some red color. And then you got your generic calendar square. It's really awesome image and I love the look of it. We also have Glamrock Chica who's rocking out with her electric guitar. She's in a very dynamic pose, and she's just having a grand old time shredding that thing. We also see Chica the Chicken in fancy font, and it's all framed by a heart. Even the lighting in the background is different from Freddy's, which was red and white. It is now pink and purple, which reflects Chica very well. And even the shapes of the lighting is different, which I like. This is obviously February, which is the month of Valentine's Day, so I think the pink is really at home with this particular month. And obviously the image fades in this pinkish purple color, and then you got the calendar squares. Obviously there are going to be more characters featured in this calendar, and I'm pretty sure I can confirm a bunch of them to you right now. Vanny, Roxanne Wolf, Montgomery Gator, Music Man, and then potentially we could see Blob, Burn Trap, Gregory, and let's hope we get Vanessa as well. Uh, a nice, awesome game render of Vanessa in the calendar. Uh, I would be super happy for, well, uh, obvious reasons, but let's not dwell on that too much. The thing is, this is a 16-month calendar, which means there's opportunity for a lot of characters, if not all, from Security Breach to be included in the calendar. Hell, they could even still include some of the ruined animatronics, like Ruined Monty, Ruined Roxy, and even Mexus would be cool. 
And I know I said I was getting bored of Security Breach merch, and by buying this calendar, I'm sort of feeding into the merch companies and their need to make Security Breach merch. It's not a bad calendar. I really like it. In fact, I like this better than the previous Security Breach calendar. And if they put a nice render of Vanessa in the calendar, then it's sold. And I usually buy anything that's Five Nights at Freddy's related. So, there's that. But with that being said, what do you guys think of the calendar? Do you like it? Do you think that they've just been milking the shit out of Security Breach for the past three years? And what characters do you want to see in this calendar outside of the obvious? But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care. Have a great night. And I'll see you in the next video.